Well, hello there, boys and girls. Good to see you all again. So, I've managed to sort out my camera problem in uh, the way of using my wife's old mobile. So, that'll be now my uh, go to camera for this job. So, without further ado, I will show you what I have. Uh, it is the Umarex Beretta PM12. So, I got this thing it's quite a while ago now. Um, somebody popped it up on the uh, Facebook page and I swiftly got rid of it because, uh, well, didn't want my Facebook page deleting. Um, but it was available at, uh, I can't remember now, it was at a UK store. And uh, I thought, ah, oh, well, why not give it a punt? I know it probably won't be up to much. But seeing as I don't have to get it from overseas and pay much shipping on it or anything like that, and it was on sale. And it cost me about 30 quid. Um, to be honest, 30 quid's probably pushing, <laughs> pushing it a bit. But it's 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 a, an example of something else that I don't have. And you know me, I like to have things just because they're there. Um, now, I suppose this is a very good example of, of why I tend not to buy long guns really. I do have the odd long gun. Um I've got a couple of TMs and that. Um and I always always a sucker for a TM. But uh this Humorex, uh obviously being a Humorex it is a rebranded sort of cheap end gun. I've I think I've seen Academy release this particular model and a company called Warrior from um a C uh their uh, one which find on the check sites that I've bought a few bits off. So as I said, being a Umrex, it does have the the trades on it, just just along here. Uh, I don't expect that they're very uh, accurately represented in any way, shape or form, but it has some trades. Uh, it also has the little Umrex blurb on this side with the, the calibre and the energy and it's licensed by Umarex. Um It also has a little uh, kind of roughly done number just behind the Umarex trade. Um, I assume it's some sort of batch number. The gun itself is relatively light. Uh, it's a clamshell type, type receiver. Um, with a couple of end caps, uh, the uh, foregrip is a separate piece, uh, and the sights are separate pieces as well. Uh, fixed sights, and uh, yeah, features wise, you've got your selector, which is safe and fire. The safe is a trigger block type safety, which is fairly sturdy. Uh, it has got a uh, trigger uh, grip type uh, trigger safety on there as well, but it doesn't actually do anything. It's just there for show. Uh, and magazine release is just in front of the trigger guard. Magazine uh, is a reservoir type uh, fed magazine, so you fill it up in the bottom, I reckon you'd get about a good 100 odd, maybe more BBs in there. Close it up and then you lock the follower down and you can just rattle them through into the feed and then you release the follower before you insert the mag. It doesn't automatically release the follower when you insert it. It holds 21 B BBs in the feed. So, firing, the uh, 
actual caulking handle is a, a non-functioning, just moulded piece, which is a bit of a disappointment. I, I prefer when they have the actual proper function. Um, but what you actually do is use the, the foregrip. It's not the smoothest of caulking actions, it's a bit wobbly the front grip, but it works. And it's a bit, it's not the nicest uh, sounding mechanism. Um, it works though. It fires twos um, about 40 metres, pops them reasonably flat, but being two, uh, it tends to sort of uh, go off in the wind fairly easily. Um, as you may have noticed, I haven't really fiddled with this gun much. I haven't done any of my usual paint effects or anything like that. Uh, I was going to fiddle with a hop, but I can't remember why I didn't. I did pull it to pieces and have a look inside. I haven't added any weights. Because um, it's just a bit meh, really. It's, it didn't take me, so I didn't put any time into it. And... Uh, I suppose it's it's kind of a good uh, if I'm doing my Springsoft events. It's a good loaner gun. It's nice and simple. So yeah, that's about it really. That's all I have to say on the matter. Uh, I picked this one out to do because uh, I'm sorting through all my bits and bobs, and it happened to be at the top. I have my long guns resting in the top of the box so it was the first one I grabbed and thought I'd just get it out of the way. Hopefully next time I'll have something more interesting to show you but for now I'll leave you with this Numerex Beretta PM12 succinctly meh As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you all soon. Hopefully with something more interesting. Cheers.